Olga, at this oh, point oh, now, hat. thank you, <laughs> thank you. At this point now, I've seen Black Widow three times, two at home and one in the theater. And it, you got it. You just got to see this movie in a the theater. There's so much, so much action, so, so many beautiful scenes. But first question I have for you is what drew you to the role? Because it's such a focused spot within the film and it's almost all nonverbal. Uh, and what was it like as a performer to tackle? No, I was happy to to get the part because the character is super cool. There's so much to it, um, uh, and uh, obviously, I I I was uh, thrilled to get on board and be part of Marvel. Um, and uh, it's yeah, on on on. Uh, it's true. It's true that the character is mostly physical. Um, it's it's the it's her nature, and this, but this is the the facade, and this is what she's made to be. And uh, this is what was uh, great to explore that she is this cold blooded, uh, uh, well, seemingly cold blooded killing machine. Um, and underneath, nevertheless, there is a human being, and there is a person. There is a woman who has gone through lots of suffering. Who um who is battling you know the the good and evil and is confused and has a has gone through lots of trauma in her life um absolutely now marvel is known for altering their stories to make the biggest impact um was there ever plans in development uh that maybe uh, had a different path for antonia uh in the film oh i wouldn't know that if there was I, you know, I only, I had the final version, of course, and uh, that's the one I've been, you know, I, I worked on. So, yeah. I Absolutely. Now, obviously, uh, this is a departure from the comic book version that we get uh, in, in Marvel Comics. Um, what research did you do into the role of the Taskmaster? Well, you know, just watch... Uh, watch some, you know, some more films. I mean, I'd seen Marvel films and obviously like I looked, I looked the character up, but most, mostly, mostly I, I concentrated because I knew that about the revelation and that right. was going to happen here. And it wasn't just going to be, you know, that facade that's running around and super strong and is unbeatable and, and, and just this amazingly strong villain. I mean, that's all we know all that. But I was concentrated on the secret, on what's behind. What what was I going to offer? What was going to be the surprise, the shock, almost? Right. And it's good to have a surprise. It's good to shock. I mean, it's always you know it it provokes feelings and emotions. And uh, and um, I was concentrated on the backstory of the character, of the human being who is uh, who is underneath all of that. It's amazing. Now, uh, what? is driving Antonia now. And if you could write a sequel uh, for Antonia, where would you take her story? <laughs> oh gosh. <clears throat> yeah, well, uh, obviously <laughs> it's, 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 it's an interesting one. I mean, if I was to write the story, um, I, I just think it's kind of uh, obvious that um, her humane side, uh, I would explore her, her humane side and get to know her better because we, you know, that is a more complex side and it's a more, um, there's a lot of contradictions um, and how could someone be, you know, it's, it's an amazing combination of good and evil. And I would, I would just explore all of that further. And, you know, I, <clears throat> I think, you know, essentially like we know, no, no one is born bad. Right. It, it happens very rarely. <laughs> if it does right. um, uh, so everything so everything explainable uh, you know the fact that someone is somewhere at some point is all is all due to their history their story and mainly their childhood That's so um, all those traumas all that everything that she, she went through I think you know essentially I think people you know we all we human beings we all need love I think it's 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 just what we what humans can't live without. And when you're stripped of that, um, all sorts of things go wrong. And yeah. uh, I think that every, even the, even a villain craves love. Absolutely. I think, I think that secretly, and it almost sometimes this will like these horrible doings are a way of seeking love, but they just don't know better. 
this is how they want to be noticed. But in the end, they get hated, but they just don't know how else to do because they've been raised that way. Right, so, right. So, but it's a cry for love. It's a cry for attention. It's a cry for help in a way. So I think it will be interesting to explore how much of that love she craves. Can she ever be loved? Can she find love? Can she I love like it? Is she capable? And I, I would be interested in that. <laughs> I know. I know, but I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a romantic. So. It works. It works. Now, Taskmaster is known for her ability to mimic styles, uh, fighting styles. Which Avenger style do you think is the most effective, both in the film and in the future? Oh gosh, they all have such different styles. Uh, most effective. Oh, it's it's I, I'm not sure. Uh, they're all pretty good, and uh, I, but but obviously because because Taskmaster will mirror their movements. Right. Uh, if he if he fights them, if she fights them, she'll be just uh, it, for them. It'll be like fighting themselves. Right. So that's what's uh, it's kind of it's not good for them, but it's very cool for Taskmaster to do that. Um, and it, it is an interesting thing that whoever you put. Her, uh, in front of, she'll be just she'll just be possessing their skills in a way, and it would be cool to go through other fights with other people, and uh, that could be something very interesting. Now, uh, a large part of the uh, of the action that Taskmaster is in is in full costume. Uh, what kind of training did you do, and do you hope to get more uh, get, get more physical more physicality in the future, uh, or do you want to leave that up to the stunt team? Ah, well, you know, if there was a future, I um, uh, um, I definitely look, I'm always I love doing stunts. I love uh, I love martial arts. I love doing choreography. You know, I'm quite you know, I, I like being expressive with my body. I used to dance, so I enjoy it. Um, and of course, if I could do as much as as much of it as possible, I would. And therefore, yeah, obviously, um, well, knowing the skills of Taskmaster, it's not just some, you know, a couple of easy steps. It's it's pretty complicated. Right. So that would that would involve some heavy training. But you know what? If I had to do it, I'd be up to it because I I just love it. It's so cool. I'd totally train and yeah. And of course, you know, in the film, you know, I, obviously in every action film, you have to have stunt doubles because there are certain things that just won't even be allowed to be done by actor for security reasons. And, uh, and uh, but yeah, if I could do most of it or as much as I could, I would. Absolutely. Um, now, has yeah. there been talks of uh, continuing Antonia's story at all? I, you have to ask Marvel. <laughs> And I definitely will at some point. Now, superhero films get uh, get you know superhero films obviously are are are, are big right now. Uh, they're huge, uh, but this one actually takes a look and, and kind of flips over flips it to things that are actually happening in the real world with uh, trafficking and things like that. Um, what do you hope audiences take away from the bigger picture of Black Widow? Yeah, actually, it's it's a good question that you ask because it's uh, there is yeah it's a. There are lots of messages, and there is a lot of uh, lots of things to take back. And there's so it's. I found like I myself, you know, I watched it as a as an audience, and uh, um, there is a lot a lot of reflection on what's going on right now, on obviously uh, um, uh, women's empowerment, uh, and uh, um, and yeah, it's interesting that you brought brought up trafficking and people, you know, women uh, being stripped of their rights and women being uh, <clears throat> forced into doing something that they don't want to do and being prisoners. Right. Um, um, and it's a big issue. And uh, it's great that it's very clearly and uh, well portrayed in this film. Uh, but and then this and also on the side of that, there are also very cool female characters that yeah. are strong that got out of it, managed to get out because uh, they got, you know, they, they have the guts, they have the power, but they have not only physical power, but this internal power. Right. It's about, you know, like strong character. And it's it's as a woman watching that, it's empowering uh, because you either aspire to that or you identify with that. Uh, and both are great. So, yeah, I I think it's 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 it, the, the film comes out at a very good time. It's Absolutely. very actual, 
with everything that's going on with the world. Well, Olga, thank you so much for your time. Congratulations on the film. And hopefully I get to see you in some more Marvel, maybe Thunderbolts, Dark Avengers, somewhere. But I'd love to see you back in the MCU. So thank you so much. Thank you.